Today we ask the age old question. Will it spaghetti and meatballs? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're willing some spaghetti and meatballs today, y'all. And a portion of today's episode is sponsored by Google Domains, but more on that later. If we were two animated dogs, okay. sharing a huge plate of spaghetti and meatballs, being serenaded by a mustachioed Italian man, we would never attempt to do what we're doing today, which is change such a perfect dish. Right, but just because two animated dogs accept traditional spaghetti and meatballs as the end all be all of pasta dishes, that doesn't mean that us two non-animated dudes have to. That's right. Can the iconic comfort food be transformed via wild new ingredients into something worthy of a bona fide chef's kiss? It's, it's time, time for, for Will, Will It Spaghetti, spaghetti and Meatballs? Just setting the ground rules here, in order to be a proper spaghetti and meatballs, you gotta have some kind of sauce, uh -huh. some kind of ball, preferably yeah. meat, and some kind of spaghetti noodle. Uh, we did Will It Pasta over five years ago, but there was no mythical kitchen to give those guidelines yeah. to back then. Things have changed. So today we are going in on some spaghetti and meatballs, full kitchen treatment. And let's start off in dessert territory with cookies. We're calling this Spa-Cookie and Sweet Balls. Josh, what'd, <laughs> what'd you do? do? Oh. So we have made a homemade cookie dough spaghetti and then we took cookie dough balls and covered this those in chocolate balls. and then oh there's a God. melted cookie butter sauce with a little bit of uh, fresh cookie dusting on top. So I'm gonna taste this noodle oh. here. The noodle actually has cookie dough in it? That is correct. And look at that ball, man. That meatball Woo! is just a dough ball. You're gonna love that dough ball. <laughs> The sauce is um, just like snickerdoodly. Ooh, that's what we were going for. Mm. So is there any you wheat in this pasta? Is there, is there any wheat? Yeah. Do you think there's like no wheat in cookies? <laughs> Sorry, then, I don't that know why I'm test. snippy. I don't know why I'm snippy. Yes, that was a wheat. test. Uh, wow. Man, I, I just have a weakness for cookie dough. If there's a log sitting in my fridge, I'm gonna go back to that log until it is gone. Oh. But you haven't gone into these balls yet. I'm trying to use, what? oh, I did go into the ball. It is, every piece of that is absolutely freaking oh, amazing. Man. I mean, this is the type of thing, this puts like a dessert pizza to shame. All you gotta do is bring this thing out at the end of like a meal with friends. Everybody gets a, an entire cookie dough ball and then scoops up some of this, some of these, some of these nudes. Oh man. I might actually have a meal with enemies. This would be a great way to poison somebody. You know? Because it's Because you can't resist because it. Because it's so irresistible. All right. Will it poison somebody? Is not yeah. what this no, is. No, okay. Cookies. Cookies. Will it spaghetti and meatballs? Yes. yes. Before we try the next unique take on spaghetti and meatballs, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by Google Domains. Google Domains is your one-stop shop when you're starting to build your brand. Yeah, because to have a website, you need both a domain name uh -huh. and a website, and people right. often forget that. Right, yeah, it'd be like if we secured the domain mythical.com, uh -huh. but then we forgot to build a super cool website where all of your internet dreams become reality. Well, luckily Google Domains makes the website building process super easy, even if you're not super tech savvy like two certain dudes who may have secured a domain name, but then forgot to build their super cool website. And luckily for those two dudes, using Google Domains was super easy. It had lots of helpful features, and Google Domains works well with the Google platforms we, I mean they, uh -huh already use, like Gmail and Google Analytics. What do you think those two dudes appreciated most about Google Domains? Um, if I had to guess, probably the fact that it's simple to use, mm. uh, there's no coding involved, uh. and their low cost transparent pricing. I would say those are all very good guesses, Link. Mm -hmm. I'd also Thank say you. that Google Domains makes it easy to look professional, even when you're, again, not super tech savvy. If you wanna grow your brand, claim your domain name with Google Domains, starting at 12 bucks a year. Use promo code GMM20 at checkout to get 20% off your first year at domains.google. Thanks again to Google Domains for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. All right, let's see the next spaghetti and meatball creation. Okay, we're getting trendy, y'all. Yep. I mean, I don't know about your town, but Nashville Hot Chicken is popping up all over the place around here, mm -hmm. but we want to take it straight to Sicily. Introducing Boot Scootin' Sketty. <laughs> is this what we think it is, Josh? Now, to you, 
it may just look like sketty. But it to smells, us here. It smells way different. All right, the, um, you know, whenever, whenever we need to celebrate my home, especially when the, like, the boys are involved, I'm like, you wanna, you wanna order some hot chicken to our doorstep? What kind of little victories in life are you celebrating lately? Just like the little victories of like getting an A on a test. Uh -huh. Sometimes I like to celebrate getting a B on a test so that my kids don't turn out to be the perfectionists that I am. It's okay to be average. Okay. Um, <laughs> the scent is on point. Is this a chicken meatball? That is a chicken meatball. It's a chicken meatball that we, we have then double dredged in chicken fried and then soaked in that Nashville hot grease, dusted with the Nashville hot powder. We got spaghetti with a comeback tomato sauce, so it's got the mayonnaise in there, Gosh. and some chopped pickles as well. There's is there pickles in the in the in the uh, meatball too? Yeah, it is looks there? it looks to you, be there's greenishness. You find a pickle in the ball? You play pickleball, Josh? I haven't played pickleball. My kids have a pickleball paddle. Pickleball paddle? They they did it at school. They're playing with a pickleball paddle. That that meatball is good. I've never played pickleball. Whoa. What's that? Is, what's that cayenne? Whoa. Is that what it is? What's the main? Yeah, yeah, so cayenne's gonna be the main spice agent on that. We didn't want to get too crazy with the ghost pepper and all that, so we left it pretty simple. Yeah, I mean, it's spicy, but it's not You're at a medium. offensive. Having like that fry sauce mayo thing being the drenching the noodles could, could, could be a problem, but it's not at a all. A problem for who? Well, if you don't really like like a mayo, like a ranchy thing as your as your spaghetti sauce, but we were inspired by like pasta salad at a cookout. You know, that's got a mayonnaise-based dressing. Why not the this boot boot scooting balls balls bags? <laughs> ball, balls bags, yeah. Okay. I think it was just boot scooting uh, sketty. Ah, oh, that's better. This is this is the best spaghetti I've ever eaten. This is better than spaghetti. And I, I think I, I was gonna say it might be better so than good. regular spaghetti. I, I we just I mean we love Nashville hot chicken, and if if it's not too hot, if it's not too hot, I, Josh, I'm gonna give you an is, A plus. On this, I would never give you a B. I don't want you to feel average for the rest of your life. And I'm, I'm gonna order some hot chicken right to your door, man. So we're celebrating tonight, Josh. Nashville hot chicken. Will it spaghetti and meatballs? Yes! yes! All right, let's head out of Nashville on up to Canada. This is a fun one. Everybody's favorite combination of French fries, cheese curds, and gravy. I'm talking about poutine. Presenting poutine Canada all over these balls. Hey! What did you do, Josh? So we went simple with the normal base of spaghetti that we cooked in gravy, so I, I guess not all that simple. But then we uh, made uh, cheese curd studded meatballs. Yeah, they're and studded. Then that deep, dark brown beef gravy drenched all over it with some fresh cheese curds that are mixed in with the spaghetti. Oh yeah, look yeah, at- They're so curded up in here, look at that. Look at look at that meatball with the curd just oh, inside dang, of you it. know this is gonna be good. <laughs> well, why isn't poutine more ubiquitous in America? I don't understand climate. why we don't we have, have it We have a more temperate much. climate, you know? Poutine, like it's a good, it's a cold weather, I don't know. No. It's hot outside, do you wanna eat poutine when it's I've hot outside? i thought about this quite a lot, I call it the poutine problem. Mm -hmm. Um, it is a problem because poutine is amazing. I think it's the name. Oh, I think we, uh, we Americans. I think you're right. We're afraid to say poutine. In Jersey, they call them disco fries. Okay, see, they're trying. Mm -hmm. They're trying to do mm -hmm. something. Uh, but I think we're just. It, it sounds a little bit dirty. It, uh, it is. It's very close to a, a very dirty French word. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You just switch one syllable that I, I won't say out of respect. We're not going to do it, Quebecois fans. We are not going to do it because we don't want to offend the it, French. It's pretty saucy. I gotta say that. Where are the fries coming into this, Josh? Oh, the well, uh, the fries were shipped out and spaghetti was shipped right in there, Link. So it's just, it's a it's starch a, swap. It's a yeah. carb replacement. Which mm -hmm. I do, I, I, I think that's acceptable. Mm -hmm. You obviously love it, so do I. You can't have too much gravy. You don't wanna get too much of this late at night, though. You're definitely gonna get the puffy face in the morning. I mean, this is, this is there's a whole lot of salt happening here. So you wanna really meter this out for yourself. It's definitely meated up for me. I, this is, amazing. I'm loving it though. Yeah, this is this will be this is gonna be a three for three. Woo, I'm feeling good. Poutine, will it spaghetti and meatballs? Yes. Okay, if this willet is anything like a normal willet, we are anticipating a nasty final round. So we're thinking now would be a good time to will something that could soak up whatever gross thing we're gonna be sending down there next. Yep. Which brings us to activated charcoal balls. <laughs> Yummy! This is spaghetti and coal for your mouth hole. And this is look at that. Ooh, this is dark. That's the man. heart of darkness uh -huh. right there. This is the 
This is the blackest spaghetti and meatballs I have ever seen. Thank you. Good gracious. You pulled mm. something off here. Okay, is it basically just regular spaghetti and meatballs with charcoal? That's correct, astute observation, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> light it on fire and cook something else over it? It's not just black on the outside either. This this stuff just goes charcoal -y all the way through. Of course, there's no real scent to it. I mean, what else is in the sauce? It's besides... pretty overwhelming though. Like, I don't know how to, it's just charcoal added to, you didn't add anything else. Uh, no, we didn't want to distract from the charcoal. Because you don't want to, I mean, it is good to have some of this down there, but that was a big bite. It's like a half a pinch of oregano. I would have said that charcoal didn't have a flavor, uh -huh. but at some point charcoal begins to have a flavor. Yep, sure does. <laughs> well, first of all, it's very gritty, so it does have a feeling. A texture. Oh, gosh. That texture. Giving, giving me some kind of feeling. <laughs> I mean, it's like there's a bunch of dirt in the meatball. What about the... I don't but know. it's so good for you, Link. I keep thinking that it's squid ink. That's the only other thing that's this dark. There is something when you make something that isn't supposed to look like this, look like this, that gets people excited. There's like that charcoal ice cream downtown somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think I've got enough to help me with the next round. There's some utility in this. We get some points but for that. But it felt like doing a chore. It didn't feel like getting to enjoy yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Activated charcoal, will it spaghetti and meatballs? No. no. Stinkier than a couple of skunks swapping stank in a New Jersey landfill. Our last dish is one that not even the pushiest Nona would cram down our grandkids' throats. It's stink bug spaghetti, AKA spaghetti and stank balls. Okay. And I'm already getting the stink. It, it's horrible. Now. Ah. I gotta say, we've been doing this show for a long time, and it is a special day when we get to eat Ooh. something that we haven't had before. This is like a, a whole new thing. Mm. Stink bugs. Mm -hmm. Where you get stink bugs from? Internet. Why I, does it stink so love bad? That is that just the bugs? Edu. Yeah, that's the bugs. They stink. It's a, it's a gland, man, in their abdomen. Scientists suspect it's uh, a defense against predators, which totally makes sense. A lot of other insects have it, um, but on the flip side. Chemical analysis of ground freeze-dried stink buds reveals the insects have lots of protein, Rhett, and nine essential amino okay, acids. Okay, that changes everything. They also contain cholesterol-lowering fatty acids and several antioxidants that come from a flowering plant that the bugs eat. You've been reading more. <laughs> You've been going to the library again? No, I'm, I'm reading currently. Oh, he's reading currently. <laughs> They're also the pettiest bugs in the world because they stink after you kill them. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you squish them, and they're like, oh, I'll show you after death. Um, Petty. I, for a second, I was like, the ones that you could keep as a pet, when you said. Oh yeah, they're, they make great pets. So, petty pets. <sighs> so, is there anything else going on in this? Because there's a super high smell that almost smells mm. like a stinky cheese. Mm, no, none of that, that's just the stinky bugs. I mean, they're just all in there. Yeah, like, we, we open the hatch, boop. We They're made like a bit there. of a stink bug tea to boil the noodles in. Golly, it's horrible, Josh. Stink stock, we call it. Uh, I gotta get a bite. Stink, stank, stock. That gives me a chance of getting this down. And what's in the sauce? Uh, stink bugs? <laughs> oh, tomatoes, uh, tomatoes too, like a... Golly, this is, is so pungent. The acid of the tomatoes is gonna help us. I've never been such a, so thankful for tomatoes in my life. Gah! Oh, man, it's, yeah. it's so it's right under your nose. I'm oh, a little. Wow. You, well, you're you're really going for it. I feel. Oh, it, it, left the spaghetti cold. It smells like vomit. I'm just. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that sour. Yeah. Okay. Morgan's back there turning away. Is it? What's gonna happen in our mouth though? Because mm. sometimes it gets. It just not as bad once you once you our, put it in your mouth. Our cholesterol is gonna be lowered. Those nine essential things. Dink it. Mm, and dink, dink, it. dink it. And dink, dink it. it. Dink it. Stink it? You have to actually touch. And I want you to earn it this time. There you go. Stink it. Oh god! It's worse. It's so sour and crunchy. How's that happening? What is happening in my mouth right now? Wow. Only bad things. It's so it's so aromatic that it's like it's coming out of my nose. Like I can smell the scent that's coming out of my nose with my nose. Oh, I hate everything right now. Hmm. Josh, I'm trying to maintain a good view of you as a person. Well, how is the cook on the noodles? Great, perfect. Thank and you. And I do, I do want to get this down because I, I, I want to lower my cholesterol a little bit. 
What meat is that in there besides bug? Uh, the mix, a little, little mishmash, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We did it. We did it. Ugh. We discovered through God. full consumption that this was a horrible idea, and that's the only way that we could have done it. Stink we feel bugs. good about what's happening. What's yep. happening in our bodies right now? Stink bugs. Will it spaghetti, spaghetti and meatballs? meatballs? Of course no. not. Oh. Uh, let's get this. Let's get the stench. Yeah, take that outside. Away from our noses. Take that out of the city limits. But you know, overall, very successful. Will it today? Good for start. those of you keeping score. Uh, we got a nice three out of five. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Jimmy. We're from Tupelo, Mississippi. We just made spaghetti, meatballs, and garlic bread. And it's time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. Think it and sink it. They just make good food. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta make a meal. Tupelo. Click the top link to discover which pasta dishes are the most popular in each state in Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Boot scoot boogie on over to mythical.com to get Rhett and Link Sing Brooks and Dunn in the year 3000 t-shirt available exclusively for Mythical Society members.